All right, so this is how to make a high line. I'm just going to use a Manny rope here, and this is about 3 8 rope. But typically, I use a stouter rope, like my uh, lash ropes off my pack saddle, which are even uh, bigger, half eighths or five eighths, half inch or five eighths. And uh, I can put two of those together, and that's uh, going to give me about 60 to 70 feet of rope, which makes a pretty good long high line. But anywhere on federal lands, you should use these tree saver straps so you don't ring the trees. Um, you can just make these out of a set of old seat belts or use like two inch nylon webbing and just sew a couple rings in. Start by tying a bowline in one end here. Okay, I'm going to come over this side. And uh, there's a couple things you can do on this high line to tie your horses into. Um, one of those is the high line loop, which we showed you in another video. Uh, another thing you can use is these uh, knot eliminators that you just slip through and uh, hook in like that. You tie your horses to those. They work pretty slick because they don't take up near as much rope. So either option. As soon as I get this high line built, I'll show you a couple more options that there are also. Um, but the knot I like to use to tighten these high lines is called a trucker's hitch. So you kind of kind of measure it out, and it's just going to be a Dutchman in this rope. All right, to make that high line loop, or to make the trucker's hitch, we're going to twist two full times, two to three times, doesn't matter, at least two, and pull a loop through. Okay, and you kind of got to hold this. You can go through your rings on your tree saver straps and you're going to come back through your loop and now we've made a dutchman in this rope and we can really crank this thing tight because these high lines will sag all right so once you get it pulled tight you want to pinch right here and we're just going to finish this off with a quick release half hitch That'll hold it tight. And then I'd throw a couple half hitches on here. And that is a trucker's hitch on a high line. Okay. All right, so a couple more options for uh, your high line. This is called a high line hitch. This is the lead rope off my horse. All right, and it just goes over three times and I'm going to come across and I'm going to come under three times and slide all these together and this is attached to my horse and he can't slide up and down your high line this way it's called a high line hitch um, another one you can do is called a prusik just take a loop of rope just twist it three times and you just run this down through and that's the same principle as that high line hitch get your uh, twists all worked out okay and then this gives you a loop to tie into and it's not going to slide up and down your rope either and this also acts as a weak link, so if your horse does get into a bind, this is quarter inch hemp and it will break with about three to four hundred pounds of pressure. And uh, the other thing I always do on a high line is hang a bell on it so that I can sleep peacefully at night, knowing that if my horse does get hung up, a uh, bell will ring and hopefully wake me up and I can fix things. <laughs>